Hello, this is BJ Ultimate Swag, and today I'm making another response to this fat piece of shit named Wrestling Otaku. So just recently this fat loser made a 12 minute and 5 second video on me, which was fucking laughable. Trying to spread lies and convince me to join the Fortune for Shooters group. Well, here's my answer. And that will be drum roll. Hell no, till the no, no, no. Hell till the no, hell till the no, till the no, 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 no. Do you really think I would want to side with a group of pedophiles, cyber stalkers, and deadbeat losers who tell lies? Hell to the fucking no. Because one, you're a fucking weirdo. Two, you dox people's information, which is very fucking illegal, which can land you in prison, like that other 700 pound loser, Blake Harris. And three, you got racist creeps like Bad Fox, Big Honcho, and many more pedo freaks that are in your fortune for shooters group. So once again, there is no way I'm joining a group of fucking pedophiles. I know you did made an apology to Hiroshima and all the others. But still you just can't be fucking trusted. Because after that stream, you still went after people and attacking more miners on the internet. How I know? Because someone told me, not saying who but still, I wouldn't want to side with a pedophile anti freak anyway. I know that some of you may now be cool with wrestling otaku, that totally up to you. But for all the fookery shit he'd done, for almost making a 14 year old girl commit suicide and causing stress on people. With no remorse. I just can't be cool with that. Now I'm going to respond to some of the bullshit you said in that 12 minute long video you made on me. Starting with this part. Alright, what is going on folks? Wrestling Otaku back here on the Fortune 4 Shooters channel with my second video of the day. I just got through uploading a video not too long ago right here on the channel. Basically bashing. Basically exposing all these fools who want to try to get me in trouble, try to get me arrested and fired and all that. I exposed all of you. I clowned all of them. <laughs> nice joke, fatty. But you didn't expose or clown anyone. The only fool you exposed was yourself. And I gave them a warning that if they persisted with their illogical, illegal actions I would pursue legal action against them and I did say that uh, I was going to in the in the coming weeks systematically cut down every single person who wronged me and who wronged this group you threaten to take a court action for anyone who responds negatively to the fortune for shooters aim do you even know how much a lawyer costs you fat fucking retard 
because I hardly doubt that your shitty job at Target would even cover the cost of a lawyer. Also, if you do try to take any of us to court, you going to lose anyway, because we have all the screenshots and evidence of you stalking on minors, as well as your videos, where you threaten to beat up a 13-year-old kid. And when I said I was going to cut down every single person, I said that nobody was going to be safe. Well, it starts here with this here video because I'm going to address one such individual who made a video on me recently, a diss video, I suppose you could say, a little response video to me. And that individual goes by the name of BJ Ultimate Swag. Apparently, this guy is in cahoots with this group of people who is after me right now. I've seen this guy around. He's been in, uh, he was in Hiroshimaru's little stream, Cringe City's little streams in the comments. I see him in the chat every now and then. And apparently he's a channel that likes to do diss tracks and whatnot on people. Of course you've seen me on the streams, and know who I am, you fat stalker. But here's a little thing that he doesn't know. I actually have known who this is for a while. I've seen the name around. I know who, I've known who this is for a while. So this is going to be specifically a message for you, BJ Swag. I saw your little video. I saw your little video response to me. Where you tried to bash me, you tried to put me down, try to say I'm a pedophile, oh I watch hentai, this, that, and the other, just trying to make all these accusations against me, not much like everybody else. I mean, everything you said in this video is pretty much the same just about everybody else has said before you. So you weren't really providing anything original here. Well, that's because it's all true, you fat dummy. There are not much more I can say, when everyone else exposed you for the same thing, you fat and a freak. But, here's what I want to say to you specifically. You really, you really, you, you want to be the next one to come after me. You really want to do that, you really want to be the, another one to come after me. You really want to do that, you really want to do diss videos on me. Well, I would advise against that. As a matter of fact, I would strongly, strongly suggest you do the opposite. I would suggest, I would strongly suggest that you join our side. No way, buddy boy! And I'm going to explain why. Because you may not know this BJ swag, or maybe you just, you just forgot, or maybe you're just, maybe you're just, maybe you just don't care, I don't know. But you see, me, myself... And the Fortune 4 shooters, we were once actually allies with somebody that you're close to. Somebody that you were close to. So, allow me to take you, allow me to give you a little history lesson, BJ Swag. This may take a while. You see, back in the day, a couple years ago, there was an account running around by the name of RockConFan2000. You might have heard that account. Now, this account would comment on my videos quite frequently. On my Wrestling Otaku channel. They would comment on my videos quite frequently. I, and I would see this. And I was thinking, honestly, this was like a fan of my channel. I even gave them shout outs in some points. I even answered their questions. His questions. Her, well, his, her. I don't know if who's necessarily behind that account. But I would even answer their questions, you know, in Q&As that I've done. And this was like two, three years ago. That's 2017, 2018, around that time frame. And this individual would, you know, constantly talk about, obviously, Rockicon, who he was a fan of. Uh, he would mention, you know, Josie Rizal and Team Iggy and all these other entities that they, he, she was a fan of. Now, eventually, that account would come to change their name to the Ghost of Doom. You all should, you should know the Ghost of Doom. Of course you know the Ghost of Doom. And when they changed their name to the Ghost of Doom, they would continue the same pattern of commenting on my videos. Now, at the time, the Ghost of Doom was pretty much going heavy at the Taishan Zone. The, the Ghost of Doom seemed to have a real big grudge against the Taishan Zone for bashing some of his, her favorite, you know, characters, such as, you know, Josie Rizal and so on and so forth. And at the time, there was a, a time where the Ghost of Doom slash Rockicon Fan 2000 would come to me and basically say, hey, you should do a video against the Taishan Zone. You should go after the Taishan Zone, so on and so forth. So you mentioning about how the Ghost of Doom was allies with the Fortune 4 shooters, which I don't think was ever true. 
In fact, I remember him saying before he got terminated, he only sided with you so you go after TG Venom. But that was a long time ago, back when we were beefing with TG Venom back around 2017 when we were as holes. Also Wicacon Fan 2000 was never the ghost of doom, it was just his joint channel. Yes I do admit, I was one of those people that attacked TG Venom too. But again that was back when I was an asshole, being an immature troll on the internet. Same with my friend T. Miggy and Josie Riesel, who you also mentioned. And then over time, apparently, apparently the Ghost of Doom, I guess, changed it, changed his, her ways, or changed their ways, and they became allied with the Tyshawn Zone, which I saw, and I was like, wow, you, you spent all this time complaining about the Tyshawn Zone, now you're going to join forces with the guy. That's just like, that's just odd. Very odd, but, you know, that's you, that's whatever. I'm glad we are on TG Venom's side, because he more cooler, and actually has a talent, unlike you Otaku, who sit on your fat ass reviewing hentai, and threatening to beat little children up, and stalk on minors all day. You need to get mental help ASAP, because watching too much hentai really fucked your brain up. Let's skip to the next part. Because I'll tell it to you like this. You want to go against me. I am in control of a massive army of FRS foot soldiers that at the snap of a finger, at the snap of a finger, all I have to do is snap my finger like this. And those FRS foot soldiers will raid your shit. All it takes is a snap of a finger. All it takes is one order from me and they will be all over you. Now, do you really want that? Or do you want to do the right thing and align with us? <laughs> you and what army? Do you really think your threats are going to intimidate me? What? You going to get your gang of your sock accounts to raid me? Oh, so fucking scared. Not. No one is scared of a fat loser like you. In fact, have a look at my side compared to yours. I have people, like the new mommy, along with the bat neighbors who can actually raid and fuck your channel up. As well as my team savers of YouTube. So you are not going to win otaku. And another thing you forgot to mention in that video was Josie Riesel. Did you forget that she was in the video with me too? I bet you were too pussy to mention her name because you were probably scared that she will turn into her evil side. And you know, once she turns evil there is no stopping her. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here, because it's getting too boring and tedious. Wrestling Otaku, you can come after me with your sock accounts and raid me all you want. Trying to scare me with lies. But you will never see me be a part of the Fortune 4 Shooters team. As I know better. So Otaku, fuck your decision. Because I'm not joining. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.